Again, another blog video for all those newcomers to our Train You Can e-learning course. And in this blog video, I'm going to look particularly to the trainer trainer, the double one seven eight seven one, the facilitators course. Again, a lot of questions on this. Now, remember, this is e-learning. Uh, a lot of people, I see some people register in the evening and they start and they work through the whole night. They do the one assignment after the other one. They finish the course. Other people, especially those ladies with kids, you know, they wait for the kids to go and sleep. They log in in the evening. They do an assignment. They log off and tomorrow night they log on again and they complete, you know, they do their next assignment. So there's no time limit, no time frame. It's available 20, uh, seven days a week. Um 24 hours a day so you can even log in early or hours in the morning and you know just carry on with it so i just want to carry on the the basic layout of the trainer trainer course now my view might look a bit different than yours because i have locked in this administration but on the left hand side you will see some you know uh, the indication of where you are overall with the course now remember with trainer trainer we don't have a portfolio of evidence we have assignments so you do your assignments you submit them online the assessors review it and if they're not happy they revert it so you can we actually call it grading so we grade your assignment and we've not happy we uh, revert it so you will then be able to resubmit your assignment so you can resubmit as many times as you want until the assessors is happy and you can carry on with the the next one so again on the left hand side we just got some upcoming events and here we have uh, assignments and quizzes so if you click onto your quizzes i'm just going to do the assignments there there is all your assignments all the things that you need to do so you don't have that thick portfolio anymore you've got smaller assignments it's more manageable blocks and you can see your yours will even show you if you've done an assignment and your scoring and your grading everything will be on there so that is just a, a summary of all the assignments again if i can just if you locked into the trainer trainer course on the left hand side here you click on assignment and you will get a summary over that okay so let's just go and look at our trainer trainer course what is expected there we have a bit of an introduction to the unit standard. Um, this video you will be able to view here. And then we have our support here. Now remember our support, we have a dedicated uh, WhatsApp number. There's the WhatsApp number on there. Uh, again, if you if you send through a query there, we our phone is, is very overloaded. So we do clear the chat. So every time if you send a query through, please remember your name, uh, mention the course or say it's e-learning uh, what activity and then you know details of what you want to need and if you don't understand it you just request a call back again your name your telephone number the activity just be specific because we have so many learners so many activities we don't know what you know which activity you you refer to so be be very specific when you send it through and the guys will then uh, reply to you and assist you again we also have that on our website you'll find these three folders on any of the courses now there's a lot of files of files and stuff that we share with our learners now there's three different ways that we share it depending on what you prefer that one is the train you can website so you can actually download all our templates and examples and whatever we have whatever you want to this is a file or a template of a uh, document that you need you can go there if you don't like that method you can also those who's familiar with dropbox you can access it on this link so if you click here you will get it and i think the google drive is the most popular one in this moment where you can actually download it let's go and look at the google drive i've clicked on it it's open up on the internet and here you can see all different courses so i'm going to go and look for this number here double one seven eight seven there's a trainer trainer course I'm going to open that one there and we're going to see there is even the videos, these videos on certain presentations, uh, you know, your first presentation and all these type of things. There's some videos that you can download. There's a venue checklist and uh, all kind of other documents, additional resources that you can download to your computer. Now, remember, we continuously update our resources, so it's not always the same. So you might want to go later on download the new template you know if you update a new template it's immediately available on all three of these virtual 
shared uh, places. So it doesn't matter where you go, they're identically all three of them. Cool. Then are we going to go and look at our actual trainer trainer course? We have the introduction that you need to work through. And you're going to see, you're going to get uh, these things is going to uh, change to a green marker. If you completed everything, if I could just go there quickly, it's going to open up like that. And once I have done these, you will see on the right hand side, this green marker that the PS. So as soon as you've done that, if I exit it, you will see that this block becomes clear with a nice green marker here. So you know this block is totally complete. There's the introduction to this learning program. You need to work through that. Uh, some basic courses that you're going to do just to make sure you understand the NKF and OBE. And again, you must do all those uh, courses. If you have it wrong, you retry them until you pass and you get a green tick here. So we're going to carry on and we're going to start here. That's where the actual program actually do. These ones is all introduction. And where we're going to start with specific outcome number one, that's your formative activities. And I just want to go and look at it. It tells you the specific uh, criteria. Uh, there's your learning material, additional uh, resources. And these are all formative activities, all the assignments. So you can submit this assignment now, log out tomorrow, come back, and then do this assignment. And you will also find, if you, if you if, let me go and click on this one here, there's your first assignment. There's a short video that's also going to help you. And if you scroll down, you will see these, these documents. Now, you can either submit your answer in text, or if you download this Word document, it's a nice template. The, the activity is already formatted, and you can just uh, answer your, your question on there and then submit it on our e-learning platform. Now, you will notice on all our assignments, some assignments we do allow Word documents, but most of the assignments we only allow PDF. So it's quite easy. You open the, the Word document and you say file save as, as a PDF and you upload the PDF. For those people who's not familiar with that, don't worry, we've got you covered. If you look at e-learning, the tabs here at the top, there's a couple of tabs here that will help you here. PDF, Download the Acrobat Reader if you don't have it. Print to PDF. There's all kind of things. If you want, if you want to convert your Word document to PDF, uh, there's a document how to do it. There's all kinds of documents. Sometimes your document, your PDF document, is too big, and this goes through these options. There's a PDF tab at the top where you can upload your PDF document, and it's going to shrink it and make it smaller. Uh, especially for those people who struggle with it. So there's a whole lot of documents here at the top, even under the help tab, just follow the, the links there for any resources. So that's uh, specific outcome number one. And that specific outcome deals with specifically with planning and preparing for facilitation. Specific outcome number two is how to facilitate actually in the class, you know, how to stand in the front and talk to people. And then the third one here, yeah, specific outcome number three deals with evaluating. And after you've done training, how do you evaluate what you have done? And once you've done these three and you've got your green ticks with every single one up here to section number five, then you will be allowed to carry on with the summative. Now, everyone... Uh, struggles with the summative. I'm just going to go through it. And with the summative, you're going to have three presentations. Now, guys, again, there's a separate video which I'm going to upload under the tips for recording your video. Look at the tips there. There's a tips with recording your virtual presentation. Now, with activity number 15, you're going to record a 15-minute presentation. And we have all the resources on how to do it. You can do it on WhatsApp. You can, you can do it on your phone and share it with Google Hangouts and Google Drive and Dropbox and all those kind of things. And if you're not familiar with it, please, there's tips with recording your virtual presentation. There's a detailed uh, explanation on how to do it. I've also uploaded a big video on there to explain all these things. It's quite easy on how to do it. So with activity number 15, you're going to, in a, in a nutshell, you're going to record a 15-minute presentation. You're also going to develop your plan on, you know, how do you want to, to deliver that? And you're also going to include your presentation on your handout. Those, those three things, your plan, 
uh, your planning for your presentation, your actual, you know, handout or PowerPoint or whatever you use, and then the link to your virtual presentation. Those three things you're going to upload there to us. One of our assessors is going to review it and they're going to provide you with feedback. If they're happy with it, then you can proceed to number 16 and 17. Now with 16 and 17, you're not going to submit us a video anymore. You are going to get three people, could be family members or work colleagues, three people that's going to evaluate you. And we explain to you again, you're going to submit your plan. You're going to upload a picture where you're standing to prove that you actually done it. You're going to use, you upload your presentation or handout or notes or everything that you use there. And those three people, we actually give you the forms that they must fill in. Now, the only tricky part with number 16 and 17 is those people who evaluate you is not allowed to give you any compliments. They're only allowed to give you constructive feedback on that forms. Again, you're going to upload it. And CC is going to review it and we're going to provide you feedback. Guys, that's in a nutshell our trainer trainer course. And remember, once you've done all this, you've got ticks from there all the way down to number six. Um, there's the ticks, the green ticks that will appear here. This button here, submit for CETA verification, will become um, active as soon as you pass everything. Come back here, press it there, accept the terms and condition. And only once you have submitted that button, we receive it on this side. We prepare your file and then we manually submit your file to the CETA with the next verification batch. Guys, if you need any help, please don't hesitate to contact us on our WhatsApp or on our help desk and we will contact you back and help you with anything that you are 